Welcome to our Workflow Wednesday session for today. We're glad to have you guys back. We're glad to be back in this format again. Uh, in the past, we were doing some live sessions based on uh, Flexi and their new topics. This year, we're bringing that back and we wanted to make sure that you guys have as much content as possible. We have some great new topics uh, available for this year and we're gonna be doing this on a monthly basis. You'll be seeing social media posts and things like that on our Facebook, to announcing the different topics and times and when those are gonna be going live on our YouTube channel. Just wanna let you know as well that if you have any questions or comments, leave those down in the comments below. And for about an hour after the presentation, I'm gonna be available to answer any questions or any concerns that you have. These questions can be about Flexi in general, or they can just be about the topic at hand. Let us know, we'd be glad to answer any questions for you. Again, we have a great list of topics coming up this year. Today's topic is gonna to be vehicle templates. This is gonna be something that we think is gonna be really helpful for you guys. And we wanted to show a couple different ways that you can handle templates inside of our software. So first of all, we wanna take a look at, uh, we wanna bring up two things, first of all. We wanna bring up our design editor in Flexi. And we go get that by clicking on this button here or by clicking the E button on your keyboard, or if you go to view, design editor. This is gonna show us our layers, and this is gonna be really important for when we do uh, different things inside of uh, our layers for uh, the different uh, uh, templates that we're gonna be using. So where do we get some of these templates? Well, there's two different types of templates that we're gonna talk about today. One of those templates is gonna be from design uh, elements. So if you click on Sign Design Elements, this should be in your cloud window. If you have a subscription, you get five free downloads from the SAI uh, Sign Design Elements webpage. This is a uh, basically a website that uh, allows you to download and uh, get access to free graphics, pictures, vehicle templates, fonts, all kinds of stuff uh, that are free to use you don't have to worry about uh, you know, who owns that graphic and things like that. So it's really good content, really good high quality resolution images and things like that. So for our purposes, we're gonna actually log in here and click on the template finder. And I'm just gonna grab uh, the ArtStation US. I'm gonna go to our Ford here and maybe we go to the F-150 and we'll just hit go. This is gonna bring up all the F-150s. And so you got the, the latest 2020 is, is what we've got here. You can click on these and this allows you to download these uh, specifically. So you've got, you're gonna have a lot of detail inside of these templates and these templates are gonna be layered. Uh, so when you download these, you're gonna see these layers uh, when we bring them in. So it's gonna be important when we do that. So you just hit that download and then download these uh, uh, if you want to. Now, importing these into Flexi, how do we import these in? Well, uh, we're actually not gonna use the import function. One of the things to remember about the import function is that specifically, if you click on import, it actually grabs all the layers and smushes them down into one layer because we're importing it into the current layer. And so that's something we really don't want to do. So we're actually gonna click the open button this time. And we're gonna go into our folder here. And I have already downloaded one for a Dodge, Dodge truck, and this is an AI file. So I'm gonna click on the AI file. You can also get the CDR if you want, but uh, AI, open. And it's gonna load that in and we're gonna see all the layers come in. All right, so now we can see in Design Editor, now we can see all these different layers. And this is great for us because we can use these as masks and different things like that. So one of the things is we can, we can do is we can say, put a graphic on this window. Let's say we want to take this window right here, this window, the back window of this truck. And of course, we've got the black trim around here. This is the seal of the window. 
but this lighter grayish part is that's the actual part of the window that we want to take a look at. Well, we can actually now start to hide portions of the graphic. So I can start hiding things like this. And I'm going to leave the 40% windows and wheels. And so we can reduce this all the way down to just this. So we can kind of see what we're dealing with. This makes it really nice because now we don't have to deal with accidentally clicking on any of the other parts and pieces as we're dealing with this graphic. It makes it really convenient. So now I can click on this and now I'm really ready to start importing some graphics. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go file, import. I'm gonna go back here a couple steps and let's grab some image. Let's just grab this image right here. Okay, this is a pretty big image. So I'm probably gonna scale this down. Now with these particular templates, uh, these templates are, um, they use vector artwork and so you would mask things to it. So in this particular case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight both of these objects and I'm just gonna do a mask. Oops, did I think that wrong here? There we go. So the reason why that didn't work the first time is because there is a border around here that was interfering with it. So I just clicked on the center. So now I've got this right here. So I can zoom out a little bit and I can start turning on all these layers. And of course I really never had to turn off all of them really. It just makes it a little bit easier. And so now we can kind of see in this particular graphic what that's going to look like and this is really helpful for a customer because then they can kind of get an idea of hey what is what is this graphic going to look like on, on the side of my truck or on the back window or on the back of my truck on the tailgate and as you can see you can come in here and you can click on all these different parts uh, of the of the truck so if i want to you know select the tailgate area or the bumper area i've got that i've also got lines here for the doors so if I want to do something for the doors, I've got some uh, graphic here and I could mask it to that to set it up for the doors. So I've got all kinds of different things going on here in these templates that allow me to wrap it up if I need to. Now, again, I can just take this. I can hit control, drag. And I can make a copy of that. And then I can go to design or I can go to rip and print. And now this is a 120th scale. Uh, is what these are at. So that's where these are going to be set at. So I'm going to go to my percentage here and I'm going to scale this up by 2000%. And that's going to give me my full size. So these are at 1 20th of a scale. And when you're doing 1 20th of a scale, you put 2000% in there. If you're doing uh, a tenth of a scale, then you go 1000%. So in this case, we're, we're doing uh, 120th scale, so 2,000%, and that gives me just, just enough. And now I can print this. I can also add a contour cut to this if I want to. I could go back here and add a contour cut if that's something that I needed to do. I can also do that as well. So this makes it really easy in order for you to try and get some graphics uh, out on a, on a vehicle, get those cut, and then also present it to the customer in kind of a meaningful way so that, so that they can actually see what's going on here. Let's take a look at one other example here. Let's go to a new file. And this time let's import in our uh, TIFF for bad wraps. I'm gonna go to file and we're gonna go to import. Now, again, the reason why we don't want to import really is because of what happens when we do that. Now, actually, why don't we go ahead and just show you what that does? I'm going to say import bad wraps TIFF image and click on it. Okay, it's importing that in. Okay, so here's what we see. Now, notice that these, this file has layers. This is a file that does contain layers and it does contain different aspects to it. Now, the difference between this and the others is the other one gives you more of vector lines for you to um, be able to manipulate and cut and, and do different things with. 
Uh, with this particular one, these bad rap templates, they are actually built more for, um, they're built with uh, images and stuff like that. And you'll kind of see that here in a minute. If you're interested in this, I believe you can get them at thebadrap.com, I think is the address. Yeah, thebadrap.com. And, and so you can get more information about these uh, if you're interested in getting uh, these bad wraps. But these TIFFs, uh, we specifically deal with. Uh, we have a special way of importing these. So I'm going to actually hit delete. And I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to hit file, open this time. Click this and click open. Now, one thing you'll notice is that uh, it did the same thing. So this particular TIFF actually needs to be opened in a special way. So even though I hit open on this one, it still didn't bring in the layers. So if I hit this, let's get out of here, file, we're gonna say open. And then instead of choosing all readable, we need to specifically choose TIFF for bad rap. If we don't automatic or specifically tell the software to import TIFF for bad rap, it doesn't know how to import the layers properly. It just thinks it's a regular TIFF file. So we click on that. Then we choose our bad wrap. Then we hit open. Now these are big files. Open as a single layer? No, we do not want to open this as a single layer. We want all the layers to show up. So we'll hit no. Now these are pretty big files. They have a lot of different bitmaps in them and different elements and things like that. So these are pretty big files. And so we'll let this open up and then process here and see uh, then we'll kind of walk through some different things uh, with it as well. So one thing you'll need to have is, again, we'll need to have our design editor open so that when this pulls in, it gets all those layers in. Okay, and it's importing that file as we speak. There it goes, just pulls that in. All right, so now we can see all of our different layers. Now, these are laid out a little bit different than the other ones. Each company does their, their uh, vehicle templates a little different. Now, you'll notice that this is more of a uh, graphical style of a wrap uh, template. So for example, here, I could turn on and off all the painted surfaces. So I can use those as uh, a mask or whatnot. I can also uh, see where things go. So here you're gonna see this is where your logo goes. So they've, they've done it in such a way that they want you to put certain things in certain places. So here, this is where they want you to put your logo. This is where the non-painted surfaces are. So that would be the bumper and these, the plastics and things like that. Uh, then you've got the background layer, your measurements layer, your design layer, and uh, different things here. So let's go to the background layer. Uh, I believe, uh, let's see. Okay, so background, uh, that's gonna sh that's gonna show your your. Uh, if you turn off the background, it shows your measurements. So uh, we're gonna go into the design layer, and we're gonna import that same image that we imported before. Uh, oops, we need to go back a folder to. Oh, uh, let's see here. Mm, oh, uh, all readable. Yep, that's what we want. We'll go on the desktop and we are looking for. Uh, let's just grab one of these, import. Okay, so now when I import this in, now notice when I imported this in, notice what I did here. I went ahead and I put the design layer. I have the design layer selected. When you have a layer selected and you import an object, it means it's gonna import it into that layer. So that's gonna be really important when you import stuff into these, uh, these files. So now I'm gonna make this bigger. I'm gonna scale it up all the way up to here. And then maybe I can kind of make some adjustments here and there. And boom, just like that, now I've got, uh, I've got a different view here. 
I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so we can kind of see that a little bit better. There we go. Get this out of the way. So now we can kind of give a, a customer a visual idea of, of what his logo or what the design is going to look like. I can kind of make adjustments on the fly, make sure that those letters land in the right spot, things like that. Um, and now I can use, use this to print or whatever, and I can kind of get uh, a much better idea of what's going on here. Now, again, we can do the same thing where we do masking and, and things like that. Uh, to in order to get that to print out properly. So if we turn off all these other layers here. So now that you can see the background there, there's your background. So now you can actually just you could actually send this uh, to print if you wanted to just like this, or uh, you could actually um, make sure and uh, you can contour cut this out if you wanted to, uh, things like that. So this is, uh, but this gives you a real good way to preview any of these graphics for a customer that's looking to do all this uh, uh, when they when you design something for them. Turn on our guide here. So these are your bad wrap templates and your, and your sign design element graphics. These are, these are both really useful. Again, what's nice about this is that this one is a free uh, one that comes with your Flexi subscription. Uh, if you don't have a Flexi subscription, uh, I would really consider that you get in on a subscription. It gives you a lot of free resources uh, that you can get access to, like the sign design elements, uh, some cloud storage. There's a sketch tool. There's a there's a bunch of other stuff that it gives you access to, uh, and it, you know, five free downloads a month uh, is a really awesome thing for a website. And if you ever want to get more, say you want to get the 100, like I had on the on my plan here. If I go back into here. And I go back to my homepage, you'll notice that I have the 100 free downloads a month. And that's a, an additional $15 a month. And that gives you access to up to 100 downloads a month of any of these images. And of course, you can get all kinds of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff going on. So let's just say we needed some flowers. Type that in. And it will give you all the kinds of pictures, flowers. You've got background types. Some of these are vector. They'll tell you this is a vector. Uh, some of these are JPEGs. This is a JPEG here. So these are JPEGs. So you've got all kinds of access to really cool content that's free to use. And you don't have to worry about getting in trouble or being low quality and lame, uh, things like that. It's really worth, worth the time. These bad wrap templates, again, these are sold separately from Flexi. So if you're interested in that, you need to contact uh, these guys here uh, and log in or create the account with them and purchase those separately. Um, but this is a really great way to kind of get involved in templates. It kind of helps you, gives you another tool to use. Uh, and then just remember those important steps. Use the open function uh, for, for these templates. And then if you're using the tips for bad wraps, make sure you go to file open and then choose uh, the option for tips for bad wraps specifically so that they import with all the layers properly. All right, so that is going to do it for this session. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Again, uh, if you have any questions or comments, put those in the comments. We'll be here for another hour or so uh, answering any questions you guys have. Uh, glad for you to be joining us. Uh, remember, next month, we're going to be going over a new topic. Join us then. Check, take a look at our social media posts for information on that. And thank you for, again for joining us, and thank you for watching. You guys have a great day.